Entities are things that do stuff. There are two types of entity, point entities and mesh entities. Point entities can be created using the entity tool. You can specify the class of entity you want to spawn in the tool properties. Alternatively, you can change an existing entity's class in its object properties. These are used to create things like spawns, lights, props, the sky, and much more. Mesh entities can be created by selecting a mesh and pressing Ctrl T. A mesh entity can be turned back into a regular mesh by pressing the Untie from Entity button at the top of the Properties window. By default, the mesh becomes a trigger multiple. Trigger entities are used to fire output signals when certain events happen, such as players touching the mesh. Mesh entities are used to create buy zones, bomb sites, breakable geometry, and much more. Some of the more complicated but useful entity setups can be found as prefabs. These include the cutscene for the team select menu, the team intros, and the end of match screen. However, these don't work. Until Valve fixes those, you can copy them from the template add-on instead. Go to CSGO add-ons, template add-ons, then maps, and open the example map here. At the back of this room are the cutscene prefabs. Copy these entities whilst in group select mode, then switch back to your map and paste them wherever you want. We are going to do this. Ah. 